Hey guys, this is Johnny with Lopez Lawn Tree Care. Hope everyone is doing good. Today is Sunday, well, 12.30 Sunday. And man, did we get a lot of rain yesterday, finally. Um, you know, it's April the 24th, and we've had a couple little showers, but not nothing to be excited about. But yesterday we did get good rain finally, and it looks like we're fixing to get more rain uh, coming. So, we, uh, we started fertilizing. We've been fertilizing well, for the most part, but now we're really hitting it. Um, hell, yesterday I was out there pouring down rain, putting it down um, to get the stuff in the ground because our grass is looking terrible right now. This time of year, we should be very dark green already. Uh, over here in southwest Oklahoma, it greens up really quick because we're really warm. Um, we've been warm, it's just we haven't had no moisture. And we've been like that since last year going into the fall. Normally in the fall around here, we're getting a lot of rain. This last fall, we didn't get anything. Um, all the lakes are down, everything's down. But we got, I think, almost two inches yesterday, so it worked out pretty good. So I'm gonna just take you guys with me real quick. Uh, we're here at a dentist's office that I do, it's a business, so we try to get it done. If we're doing any chemicals or anything like that, fertilizers, we try to do it on a Saturday or Sunday when they're closed, so that way, because this place stays pretty full, and you don't want the smells or anything like that, but we're just putting fertilizer down today. So come on, let me take you with me. And this is what's nice about enclosed guys, that you guys that are running nothing but weed control fertilization is, Keep all your stuff in here. Everything tastes dry. I've got another shipment of um, fertilizer coming in Tuesday. Machine's still a little wet from yesterday. Um, this got a little wet. I guess it leaked through a little bit through here, so I kind of left it open. Probably going to go out and open it first before I put any fertilizer, because I've had that. There's bags. I've got, that's all I did yesterday. And we've got three bags left, which is plenty uh, to do this property. we got three properties we're gonna go do real quick, and that'll knock out. See how that's really on there. So, let me set you guys up right there. Get some gloves on. Safety is important. Um, hope everyone's doing good. We've been delayed on our stuff because of also wind. We can't spray nothing. If we do spray, we got a chance maybe get three or four yards in and we got to quit every single day. Anywhere from 30 all the way up to almost 60 mile an hour winds. Yes, or Friday, uh, Friday we had uh, 55 mile an hour winds. So. I do carry a respirator. Uh, we're using glossophate or something like that. For the most part, I try to just use a, you know, the mask over your face. But if we're using a harsher chemical, we do have these right here.
all that blue stuff is that polymer coating. The white's going to release down to the ground. So.
That was quick and easy. Good money. Gotta get these blowers and weed eaters out. They're never in here except for yesterday we threw them in here when it started raining off the the other trailer. I gotta show you guys the uh, the uh, let me put you up here. The lawn setup we got. How we're gonna be running it. We got time when they do that today. These little covers are clean. So, the old steel green this is one hell of a money maker. I tell you guys, um, I'm kind of glad more people ain't in the weed control business because it does it does help out a lot compared to mowing. And you guys, I noticed um, I've been doing rock hauling and stuff. Uh, like I said, we got into that this winter because there wasn't really much going on. And, started making money at it real good well the funny thing is which is good it's good um, but in my area now I've noticed uh, everybody in their, their mom was just hauling rock and gravel um, I've got one guy that it's funny because he's got a construction business but uh, I was noticing certain things on his ad which is very similar to mine so uh, but hey, you know what? I like it because it tells me that I'm doing something that uh, that's good. I mean, people people are uh, they see that there's potential in it, and there is in rock hauling. Uh, you guys got to utilize those dump trailers. I'm gonna try to hold you guys right there. Um, got to use those dump trailers. Make money with them. Uh, I was kicking the idea around of trying to figure out, you know, where, I, you know, sometimes. Your answer is staring you right in the damn face and you don't even know it. Um, so I kept kicking the idea, so get another dump trailer, move in heavy with this business, buy a skid steer. And I started, you know, every week I look what I make on mowing and every every different business that we do, like mainly it's just the mowing weed control, that's our main business. And the mowing includes like landscaping and all that junk. And then rock hauling and all that. And we do good with the rock hauling, but it is a lot of wear and tear on your vehicle and trailers a lot of damn miles you have to worry about dot now like i said i'm under my legal limit so i'm not worried about dot but you still technically you know you're probably looking at getting a you have to get a dot number mc number since you know i do go into texas and it just comes with a lot of headaches extra money and when you what you're making off the rock now is good but when you add all those expenses into it it um it, it depletes it really bad and, and so you're you're just thinking you know what well, keep it local keep it you know close when someone needs stuff just go do it but not to the point because if you are you're going to have to go get all that stuff eventually because you're going to get caught cdl same thing uh we can derate a trailer and you'll be fine this truck in that combination of 14 000 pound trailer and this truck's like eight thousand or ten thousand pounds so i'm at 24 but um it just it's just a matter of time and then if you have to go get a cdl you know, you're talking i think it's eight weeks of school all this crap and the sad part that makes me sick to my stomach is i had a cdl i had a cdl with everything hazmat uh, tanker endorsement uh doubles um you name it i didn't have triple but i pretty much had everything you could get on a cdl basically almost and I let it go like an idiot because I never thought again I'd use I would be driving trucks and I'm not gonna be driving the semis, but you know when you I didn't understand understand the GVWR stuff. And to me I think it's retarded, but it's just the way it is. I mean, why rate your vehicle at that when it's not what you're actually hauling? That's stupid. Yeah, your vehicle's capable of it. My vehicle's capable of jumping the goddamn river bridge, but I don't go out and do it. So it's just uh I don't know, it's 
I used to be in law enforcement, so there's a lot of laws that we had to enforce I didn't agree with. I thought it was stupid, but that's just the way it is. I guess you want to change it, go get into Congress or something. I don't know, but anyways, that's not the point of this video. So we, you know, so we got to looking at all the numbers again. I'm always looking at my numbers on probably on a daily basis. And man, it just, um, yeah, it just don't make sense. The chemicals right now are so expensive, but you're still making a lot of money off of weed control. So uh, this yard here, I'm gonna show you guys. Tell me what you think of it. It's really depleted, as you can see. I'm gonna hit it again. I hit it earlier in the season with fertilizer, but I'm gonna hit it again. Um, you can see over here. This grass is spare. No, I haven't taken off yet. Got some weeds on my Looks like something been digging in here. So, let me put you on and we'll get this one done with all these weeds. <laughs> Hopefully nobody minds coming on residentials and in Sundays but you know the weather you really ain't got a choice with the weather let's see if I can catch it good here. I don't know maybe I can put you uh, this machine ain't got very many places you can put something it's all aluminum so the magnetic one won't stick so kind of Try it right here. I don't know how how well that's gonna work. See if we can't get some. Let me put you on the other side because my mic's on that side.
All right, guys, uh, we're at our last yard. Wind's picking up, which you wouldn't think it'd make a difference with fertilizer, but it does. Um, it gets too bad, it'll want to shoot off the side. So now I'm going to throw you right on top of my little motor, motor here thing. And let's get the last one knocked out real quick for Sunday. <laughs> GoPro, turn off. GoPro, stop recording. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Tomorrow, Monday, time to go make money. We probably won't be spraying because the wind blowing, but uh, we'll find something to do. 
guys will be mowing their full swing. So I'm gonna get a video up on the on our lawn care setup so you guys can see it. 